everyone. Welcome to my studio. All right, so I've been working on this nativity all last week and I'm ready to finish it up this week. So I just have a little bit to go on the stable and then I've already cut out some itty bitty stars. This is iridized glass and white. It's the same glass I used for this star and I'll be adding those to the night sky and then I've got some sky and ground that I'll be adding in the room. and get after it. got all that in. Oh, I still have the ground of this stable to do too. I'm going to go ahead and rip off the back of this. Don't need this tracing paper here anymore. some strips of the purple and blue streaky glass that I will be using for the sky. The first area I'm doing is around this star. So I happened to find a piece that was a little bit lighter and also slightly more translucent than the rest. And that's what I'm putting around the star because I think it'll, it'll make the star glow just a little bit. And then uh, I will put these little bitty stars in as I go to fill in the rest. to stop for just a moment and talk about my adhesive. I've been using this multi-purpose MAC craft glue because it often comes recommended as the, the best glue to use for glass on glass. I am more of a silicone fan myself, but for this project, I thought, okay, I will use my MAC glue. And I have to say, you, you have to keep it from freezing, so I've kept it in the house, but I think it's just so messy. I can't stand how it feels on my fingers. I think it's just a matter of preference. So. I'm gonna go ahead because I've done it all with Mac glue so far and just finish it up with Mac glue, but then I don't know if I'll be ordering more Mac glue. I, it's kind of pricey and I'm not a huge fan, but it's all right. It's not really waterproof or anything. Um, I'm not sure why it's so great or why people think it's so great. And it's a little bit runny, so then it tends to really seep up in between the pieces and then make, a, make more of a mess. I just like to work neat and I feel like I can't work neat with this neatly. That's it. Mac glue on an index card and dipping the glass in it because my bottle's almost empty and so it's not coming out very well and very easily for each piece and this is just a more efficient way to do it but it's getting all over my hands it's just been been a mess so far but I'm going to keep after it and I'm going to use the last bit of this Mac glue all up on this project.
Yay, I finished piecing this. I'm gonna let the adhesive dry for a day or two and then I'll come in and grout it later. And in the meantime, I need to clean up my workbench and the floor and and then I'll come over and work on this bird and finish it up so that I can grout it. That's it. I'm able to work on this bird, but before I begin working on this bird, I would like to have another word about adhesives, namely E6000, because I had decided to use E6000 on some of these beads, and this is what happens to E6000. Uh, this is me trying to be neat with E6000. It's just a disaster, and at this point, even though there's a little bit of E6000 in here, it, it's pretty much just stuck in the tube unless I want to jam in there and try to get it out. It's also got a hole right there. Now I have used toothpaste um, squeezers to keep it nice and neat and roll it up so that it's nice and clean, but it's still this tip that gets super, super messy. So it's also kind of toxic and you need proper ventilation. But one thing about it, I do like it because it's strong, but another problem is you think this is bad? I, my, I ran out of this and I asked my husband to get more E6000 because he was running to the store. And this is the one that he got, sweet man. Uh, this cap with this glue will turn into something even worse than this mess. I do like the nozzle on this one. It's usually easier to keep clean. This nozzle is not easy to keep clean. So I have actually purchased some screw-on nozzles when I in the past. So I'll see if I can dig them up and use them on this because this is just going to be a disaster in the making if I use that tip. And you can't control where it goes. At least with this tip, you can kind of control where it goes a little bit. So anyway, enough on E6000 because I'm not using it for the rest of this project. I'll probably just use Weld Bond. That's it. with the fat cap that I was talking about before and you take this little thing here and you pierce it when you're ready to open it I'm not using it right now so I'm not going to open it but these little nozzles fit right on there and you have to clip them uh, wherever you want them along here so they're kind of a one-time use situation you're able to control where you put the glue first of all and it keeps it from getting so messy so it's just an it's just an option. They should probably sell these with this or put them with it instead of having to buy them separately. I got these on Amazon. Not even sure what they're called, but they fit perfectly on there and I've used them in the past and they work pretty well. And when I use this, I will have to use these things. 
that's it. It's time to grow out this nativity. And a lot of people like to do weld bond washes when they do have a glass on glass. And sometimes I do that, but on this one, I'm not going to do that. I think my spaces are tight enough and I'll just mix the grout a little bit thicker so it's not a problem. It's formed more of a haze and it's a bit more dry. I believe I'm going to take the tape off. It's not really in any danger of getting on the frame anymore. Now going in with the cotton rag and my husband's old t-shirts. Here we go. you can see some areas where the mac glue may have gotten on top of the glass and it does come right off so i can just scrape it off it doesn't really wipe off with a rag it does come off with water though i don't want to introduce water right now or any kind of cleanser so i'm going to scrape at it and later when it's more dry i can maybe wipe it down with a damp rag Some of these detailed areas have a little bit of a height difference with the glass, like this halo comes up a little bit higher and the sheep is sort of a bumpy glass. So I like to use a grout brush or if you don't have a grout brush, a toothbrush is nice to just kind of get in there and clean out those areas. You can't do that when the grout is too wet. You need to wait. That's working a little bit better. I used a textured glass on that sheep, so some of it got caught in the texture. That lantern area had some different heights. Okay. All finished grouting. Look at that. Came out pretty nice. And now the magical thing. I'm gonna turn on a lamp behind it and turn this lamp off. Woo, completely different look. The sky really is cool looking. It's so dark before and now it's, it's dark, but it's got some beautiful color. Let me switch it back again so you can see it. Just with the lamp on that one off. Also, I think it's really funny that all that purple glass around the light is the same glass as this. It was just a different part of it. And it looks so different around the star. I just picked some that look more clear with the light behind it. Looks pretty cool. Let me turn this light off one more time. Boom. I'm looking at it from across the room and that stable really does look silhouetted. That's just what I was hoping for. Awesome. That's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.